Uh, this was just brought to my attention and the video has been passed around. They said it happened yesterday. I can't ascertain where exactly this happened. <laughs> But they say it happened somewhere in Abuja. Now, with a close look at the video, it's a bit confusing. It does look like the fire is coming from the solar panels down on the roof and then down into the house. But then again, it also looks like the fire is burning from inside of the house and then hitting the roof and some other part of the building as well. So it's a bit very muddled up in the information about what exactly could have caused this fire. But the big question is, could this happen with a solar installation? And the answer is yes, if it's poorly done. But it's very rare. It rarely happens, all right? But there's a possibility that this can happen. Don't forget the fact that a solar panel connection is like every other electrical connections that you have in the house. If it's poorly done, it can cause fire. Number one reason why that can happen in a solar installation on your roof is when the cables are on the size. For every solar configuration that you do, there's a diameter size of cable that should go with it. If the cables are undersized, that means it will start heating up because it's going to have a hard time and trouble pushing the electrons back and forth. All right, so if the cables are undersized, it will start heating up. And if the wires begin to heat up, that means there's some form of resistance, all right, in the flow of current. And that in itself could cause fire hazard. That's number one. Number two is, not using your MC4 connectors to connect your solar panels on the roof. The MC4 connectors ensures that all your solar panel connections are properly locked in. I mean, all the connections in all the joints are properly locked in. Now, when it's locked in, it's not going to be shaky, it's not going to be loose, and there won't be any form of leakage going on. And when it's locked on, it's not shaky. And if it's not shaky, it's not loose. If it's not loose, there won't be any form of current leakage going on. So it's not going to heat up and it's not going to cause fire. It makes your job convenient, it makes your job safe, and it makes your job pretty good. All right, so always make sure that you have the MC4 connectors in your mix when you're doing your solar connections. If you're not using the MC4 connectors, the only choice you have at that point is begin to tie the wires manually. And that's not so cool. Now, this is the wire, so you definitely have to tie it manually. Whilst that in itself can work, but you would need to use the pliers to tie the wires to be extremely very tight. Because if you do not tie it properly, it is going to be shaky. If it is shaky, that means it's loose. If it's loose, that means there's going to be current leakage. And if there's current leakage, it's going to heat up. And if it's heating up, there could be fire hazard. So it's very important that you observe this thing. So number one, on the size cables. Number two, lack of MC4 connectors in your connections and configurations. And thirdly, when you're tightening the wires manually, you should ensure that you use the pliers to manually tighten it so that there won't be any form of leakage or current friction. It's always very important that your solar installations are done by professionals because you're going to have a lot of people migrating into solar installation as solar installation becomes more and more popular without having the capacity to be able to handle this type of job. They need to have the requisite knowledge to understand the guiding principles surrounding the solar energy technology. If you haven't subscribed, please remember, this is how you support the work that we do. Please take your time to click on that subscription button, all right? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like.